I'm John Cruz with Worldwide Auctioneers. I'm here with Pat Appenzeller. And uh, Pat, you and your brother Jan have been around the Hostetler Hudson collection really from the very beginning. And I'd just love to hear about that. Tell us how you met Eldon and started working with him and his cars. My brother and I were in the antique car restoration business. And when Eldon first started his collection, I think he had purchased four cars at the time. And I don't think he really knew exactly where he was heading with the thing, but he grew up with Hudson's and always drove Hudson's as long as they were around. So that's kind of where he thought he was gonna go. He had purchased a, a 30 sedan and, and had some troubles with it and got in touch with us and, and we took care of him. And after that, he started buying more and more cars and we just kind of helped him along. His, uh, his idea seemed to be he wanted people to know all about Hudson's. We wanted to give Hudson the recognition that they deserved as a car manufacturer. Est and I had a goal. We were going to put Hudson on the map. And I think we're on the map. And, and one of the things that he was particularly, I, I guess, enamored of was making them bright and shiny colors where necessarily weren't originally. And, and a lot of the people at the time kind of took him to task for not doing things originally. But that's where he was heading. And I kind of went right along with that. Now, what, what year roughly would you have connected with Eldon? 1985, 1986. I don't remember exactly, the, the, but that was, that, like I say, it, it was right at that point in time. Yeah, so decades and decades. Now, how many of the cars in the collection did you guys totally restore? 20. 20. 20 wow. Cars. And how many of the collection, you know, there's 69 cars that are going to be sold in the auction. How many of those do you think have been through your shop at one time or another? Pretty much all of them. We, Like I say, we, we've restored totally 20 of them and had almost every other car in the collection come to our shop at one time or another just to fix little things. My brother, of course, was a mechanic, and, and, and we were intent on building cars that Alden could get out and drive, so did a lot of things, going through the carburetors, you know, making the things run, replacing clutches, and, and I would do whatever little bits of cosmetic work they might need. You know, they got dented or, or, or scratched or something, and, and like I say, just about everyone in the collection, up until the last few years, were in our shop at one time or another for a week or two. So this collection, has really been a huge part of your life for a long time. Absolutely, yeah. I, they're, you know, like I said, they're they're almost like my own children. We we babied them from from the ground up, and 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 uh, that's kind of the way I look at them. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm real excited, and I think that collectors and enthusiasts around the country will also be excited that you know you're going to be spending and have spent a lot of time now. Uh, going back through a lot of the cars that you're obviously very familiar with to kind of make sure that they're at their best oh, sure. uh, so that when they get transferred to those new owners, they're ready to go. And I, I would imagine, maybe you could share with us just kind of how it feels to be able to go back through these and, and think about these cars being able to be enjoyed by so many people coming up here after the auction. Well, it... it Kind of in, in the process of this going on, I've, I've had to, I guess, satisfy myself that, 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 that it's all for the best. And, and, and I am looking forward to the cars being dispersed to someone else who cares for them. And uh, it, it's like they, they have, they're getting a new lease on life, I guess. And, and, and from that standpoint, I'm happy about the whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that, that, that they go to a place where, where people will appreciate them, take them out and drive them, and, and show them off. Really, 
it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for collectors to have a shot at some of these cars and, and the history that goes along with them. You know, each of these cars being part of the Hostetler collection, uh, being part of the Hostetler Hudson Museum, and, and part of you know, what you and your brother did and so many others, that that is important history that goes with these cars. And I think that's gonna be exciting. As a younger guy in the hobby, I'm so excited about that. And anytime you have a big group uh, in a museum, it gets dispersed, certainly. Uh, there's some sadness that goes along with that. Uh, but since it is happening, to be able to meet a lot of these new people and introduce Hudson's to folks who maybe have never owned one before and to have them be able to meet you and, and some of the others I'm so excited about and, and I hope you are too. Well, I hope to have the opportunity to meet some of the new people and just tell them what I know and, and maybe that will help them understand the importance of what they're getting a hold of. Yeah, that's great. Well, I hope everybody joins us Saturday, August the 4th, right here at the museum in Shipshawana, Indiana, and we'll look forward to seeing you there.